What is the maximum amount of Easter egg seeds you can turn on and still beat Isaac? This exact question has plagued me for a couple of months. So, last night, after recovering from being cancelled, I got to work. In total, there are 78 Easter egg seeds, and not all of them can be enabled at once. Some pairings of seeds contradict themselves, like bravery and cowardice. For example, bravery makes you only able to shoot in the same direction that you're walking, and cowardice makes you only able to shoot in the opposite direction of where you're walking. And since these two are opposites, the game doesn't allow for both to be enabled at the same time. Now there are quite a few pairings that are just like that. So why don't we go down the list and see which ones we can't enable. Now before we do that however, let's set some rules. Number 1. Difficulty does not matter. What does matter is the number of seeds we can have enabled and still reasonably beat the game with. And when I say reasonably, I don't mean... Um, but BD1P, if you get TM Trainer, you can just spawn a chest. Please just shut the fuck up. And now for our second and final rule. Like and subscribe- Okay, I'm not gonna say that, no, just move on. Okay, so the easter egg seeds. What can we enable, and what can we not? Well, there are the obvious ones that don't conflict. I'm not gonna explain what they all do because that would take ages, but here are the ones that don't conflict with others. With pretty much no issue, we can enable Infinite Basements Tricky Pickups Pickups Time Out Free to Play Version Point of No Return Poopy Trail Dog Mode Kids Co-op Don't Stop Moving Damage on a Timer 30 Minute Limit Ice Physics Reverse Control Access Control Camouflage Stuff Camouflage Everything Glowing Tears Extra Gore Cathode Rays Dyslexia no HUD, Mystery Pills, Mystery Cards, Champion Enemies, Confused Enemies, Farty Sounds, Super Hot, and Retro Vision. Now you might have already seen a slight problem with our current list that prevents us from beating the game, but we'll get to that later. First off, what about the pairs that the game doesn't want us to have enabled together? We cannot enable both Pacifism and Enemy Respawn together. And to make our challenge easier, we will be enabling Pacifism, which is kind of like having Mercurius. Now this next one is a bit complicated. There are six curses in-game, and six choices to enable permanent curses, and six more for permanent curse immunity. Now both the pro and anti-curse categories have a seventh option. A horrible curse, which makes every single door a cursed room door, and total curse immunity, which does, well, that. Now the obvious choice is to enable all of the curse immunity ones, including total curse immunity. However, Total Curse Immunity actually supersedes and automatically turns off the other individual options for Curse Immunity. This means that in order to maximize our Easter Egg number, we have to enable the Horrible Curse option, because we are not allowed to enable Total Curse Immunity. Hopefully that made sense. Anyways, next up we have Full Heart Damage and 12 Heart Damage. Obviously again they contradict each other, and again, for the sake of our challenge, we will take the easier option of 1 Heart Damage, even though it is not really going to matter. For our next dilemma, we have Bravery and Cowardice. And again, while it won't really matter, we're going to choose Bravery. Oh great, another complicated one. Well now we have the Costume section. To simplify this down, we cannot enable the Invisible Player option without disabling the other cosmetic options. So, we will be enabling the Blank, Grayscale, Christmas, and Big Head Mode, as well as the Camouflage version of Enemies. We can also not enable Charmed Enemies and Asocial Enemies, as well as Charmed and Scaredy, so we have no other option than to enable all champions Charmed, Confused, and Scaredy. And finally we have the Tempo options, which don't really matter, so we'll turn on Health Tempo. This puts our total maximum easter eggs enabled at 46. Now the big question, can we beat the game with all of these enabled? And wait for it? No, we can't. See, we have an issue, and it's this damn basement seed. The basement seed puts you on an infinite loop of the basement floors, with the only way out being through sacrificing. While you can use the item Genesis to skip out on basement 2, upon entering your next trap door, you'll be back on basement 1 again. So, we're left with sacrificing. Now here's the issue. One of the easter egg seeds, that being dog mode, makes you invincible, which renders sacrificing useless. We have to make a choice between turning off infinite basements or turning off dog mode. The thing is, we also have damage on a timer. And the 30 minute limit. 
And since we have full heart damage turned on, every 45 seconds we will take a full heart of damage. And after 30 minutes, we'll take damage every single second. And if we ever stop moving, we'll also take damage. With this in mind, it becomes obvious which we have to turn off. And it breaks my heart because I love the basement seed. This leaves our total at 45 Easter egg seeds. And now it's time for the actual run. I'll be playing as Azazel because we need a flying character. It makes it way easier to manage the poop trail, especially when you cannot move diagonally and you're always inverted. The only other big thing is making sure we have enough money to buy the Polaroid or the negative on floor 6 since free to play is turned on. And aside from that, it is literally unlosable. Dog mode makes you invincible. In fact, this was so easy that showing you the entire run of me just trying to fly around with inverse controls would be the most boring thing I've ever released on this channel, ever. Hey guys, future BD1P editor's note here. Uh, while I was gathering footage for the easter eggs working in greed mode, I touched the starting wave button in the first floor, and I blew a fuse in my apartment. And I, you know, turned my computer back on to see that my file was corrupt, all my editing was gone, etc. So, if you want to try these, like, this challenge on your own, do not do it in greed mode. You have a high chance to lose your file's data. So, yeah. I do want to say, however, when I did get this working in greed mode before everything went to shit, there were no doors present in the actual, like, area, so you can't even beat this challenge in greed mode regardless, so there's no point in even trying to do it. Now, if somebody finds a way to beat the 46 Easter Egg run, I will do a video on that as well, with your permission, of course. So if you get an attempt, send it my way on Discord, and I'll be sure to respond. But in a very anticlimactic finish, your maximum amount of easter egg seeds you can have enabled and still realistically beat Isaac is 45. Now most of the jokes aside, if you did enjoy the video, a like and a sub goes a long way for a small channel like mine. So if you enjoyed, just feel free to do that. If you didn't like it though, then, then okay, just don't like it. <laughs> in the meantime guys, I've been BD1P, peace out, and goodbye.